um, and not co-conspirator. And the question that I had asked before that objection was made was, did Lil D tell you that they had shot at the houses? And, uh, and did Lil D tell you that Shannon and some other boy named Tradon shot at the houses? Now, this is not hearsay or spilling the beans um, for two reasons. One, because he later, when confronted with knowledge police had, told the truth. But first, he lied and said, Lil D told him X, Y, and Z. So we're not offering this to prove that Lil D told him that. Our belief is that Lil D didn't tell him that. But well, Miss Love, just because you believe that the people that told you something is telling the truth, they could have been lying to you also. All of them are liars, allegedly. So you can't make what you believe the truth. I just don't understand what's going on here. that that play involved implicating Moktoum and that Lil D told him that Lil D had told the police on him, Quindarius, and Moktoum and that he wanted to get back at Lil D for implicating Moktoum. So therefore he said, Shannon, all of what really happened... No, he didn't. Was, so when he, he didn't put Moktoum Shannon... Out, hold, on. That, hold on. Hold on. So, hold on. No. No love. And I don't know why they sitting back there with their mouth closed. And I guess they're trying to respect you. He said Shannon ain't got nothing to do with it. He kept on, you kept throwing Shannon's name in there. And he kept subtracting Shannon's name. But you kept multiplying and adding Shannon's name. Jesus. And you're talking too long. And you say the same thing. Oh, you repeat yourself in the love. You are repeating yourself. You talk long, but you're going to repeat yourself. I don't understand this. He told me this. Lil D told me that. He's trying to keep himself out of it versus what he said on Friday, which was, I went down there to give them the story that I had essentially concocted with Lil D. He didn't say that. He don't even know that word. When he first went in, it's therefore very important for the jury to see that was a lie. What he told the police. They lie, yes. how the police were able to actually get to the truth. Now, if he had come in here talking and, you know, give, you know responding, um, at least responding as opposed to doing what it seems everyone has he can't. You can't tell that man what to do. Come back after a certain time and not remember anything. Then we would have been a lot further You along. can't tell him what to do. Um, That's what they do. Liars do. Love. That's consistent with a lot of things. That do your job. Trial. And he's trying to avoid talking about anybody else. So. You can't make that man stand up here and tell you the truth. What the hell? You think somebody want to go to jail? They already don't need their time. But I'm saying that what makes you think that they want to be on your side, Miss Love? Whether they lying or telling the truth. You don't know if they telling the truth or a lie. I don't understand how you stand right here and say all of this. You can't make a person say something they don't want to say. You need to be trying as a prosecutor to fight, beat around what they're saying and make them say what you want them to say. But if you just going to sit there and they think that this is an easy bake oven, it ain't going to work. Having him testify about essentially what lie he told the police, because we've had a lot of instances so showing what he later told police when confronted with facts that that's not a fact did have, it allows us to do exactly what the rules of evidence just because the, no 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 judge come on judge open your mouth because he can lie to the police officer 
He can lie to the investigators. Lie, 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 lie. That don't mean that just because he spoke to an investigator that he's telling the truth. He can be lying. And allow them to draw inferences from those facts. This is not hearsay offered for the truth of that matter asserted. It is. You don't know if that's the truth. That he gave to the police to cover up his involvement. It is a, an inconsistent statement with what he said on Friday. See how she returned. So Listen, y'all. Y'all don't hear this lady starting back over what she's saying. She just said this. So why is the judge not intervening with this? She just she repeating herself. Now she about to repeat what she said but said before. That's all Miss Love is standing here doing. It's something about it concerns me. Why do she repeat herself over and over as if she didn't repeat herself? Something mentally is going on there. Serious, y'all. Come on, thug. Stop playing with your damn hair while we in trial. Jesus. Excuse me, y'all. 